Hey guys, this is Jasmine, and welcome back for more The Witcher Three Wow Hat. Okay, so as you can see, Garrett is wearing a new outfit. I have already collected the whole set of this cat school gear. I even have this. I even have this as well, fur line crossbow, but. Unfortunately, I need to reach level 29 to equip this Yeah, So I need to keep this until I reach level 29. And I am so thankful for one of you guys who told me to upgrade my outfit into this or uh, a level 2 of the Griffin school gear. But I decided to go for this first because I wanna see how Garrett looks like with this new uh, armor. <laughs> the damage is really good too. 312 damage. I was playing this off camera. So this is why you see 63% left. <laughs> it's because I was trying to clear up some of my contract quests. And as you can see, I have 2358 <laughs> at least I have money now I think it's enough for us to go to Skelliger I think this is how we pronounce as Skelliger or Skellige I think it's Skelliger yeah as I was mentioned I am feeling so thankful and I listen to you guys advice so uh, yeah it really helps me to improve my gameplay of The Witcher 3 really feeling so thankful thank you so much for the useful hints and guidance okay so um for today's episode i am going to do this meet dandelion at rosemary and time let's track this quest and i am at this place because i've been farming around trying to get some monster eyes from the necklace in order to craft this armor yeah so yeah this is why I'm here <laughs> okay let's go and fast travel to the other side by the way Garrett is looking so blue right now with his new outfit <laughs> and we can also see his biceps muscles yeah <laughs> okay okay let's continue um, yeah and yeah let's teleport here yeah there is something to tell you guys. Um, I have already finished playing Stray. It is a very very nice game to play. Two more episodes for Stray to reach the last episode. Yeah. So right now I am actually in the middle of editing it. And I decided to record some of the episodes for The Witcher 3 because I'm out of videos for this game. And including the Horizon Forbidden West. I don't have any more videos for this game and Horizon Forbidden West. I really need to spend some time to play that game and also for this game before I fly to Australia. <laughs> yeah, I am going to fly to Australia next, uh, I mean this coming Saturday. I'm going to Australia for business trip it's not for leisure that's too bad yeah i really wish to have some time to travel around in australia because i guess i will be stuck in a hotel for the whole day yeah because i'm attending a conference there and yeah <laughs> so this week i will be so busy because of video editings and video games recording yeah 
Okay, so as we can see, Zoltan is right there. I guess his name is called Zoltan or Zoltan. Yeah, so he's right there. Let's go and talk to him. <laughs> yeah. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smash knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! <laughs> Glad you came. Ah, uh, what's going on? What's this about? Yeah. Ugh, nothing. Just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the off. Because we're all just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right, and don't show your hides round here ever again. No, we can't. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck and without the shovel. Friends of yours. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men and class. And the other? Errol, a scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. <laughs> Back at Mahakam, we'd send so <laughs> that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, uh, Geralt, old pal. <laughs> about to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Okay, I'll help you then. Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wade, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arse white won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Why, would you mind good to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, get out. I actually think I stand to pay off this dead now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Zoltan. Yep. And he say cards? Oh my gosh. What kind of cards, man? Don't tell me he is referring to grand cards. I am going to sh I'm I'm going to fail for that. Confirm. Cards? Yes, it's grand cards. Ah, oh. this quest will be filled most likely. And right, he's just standing over here talking to me about the grand cards quest. Let's go in and talk to them tonight. To be preserved, okay. cheek paws and watered down by snakes. Hey. As well. I can't control what I inherit. But you can control what you do with it. I know. I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Oh, you're always <laughs> considering. If it's not one thing, it's another. Let me know when you finally decide. 
I think they both are arguing. Hey. Let's talk to them tonight. What was that about? Yeah. She spat in my face. Or oh, might as well have. Call me a f and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. I've gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. <laughs> save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Why a cabaret? Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. <laughs> How could I you forget? Remember. And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. Oh, get a load. Oh yeah, guys. There is one thing that I haven't tell you yet. Uh, when I was playing this game off camera, I came across into a bank, and I think it is this bank, Viva this bank. I gave the banker something. I mean, in exchange of something, and eventually I have eight hundred crowns. But I don't know what is that. I don't know what items that we exchange with the banker. I think it's. Florence? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so what can I do? Can I just lend you the coin? No, I am poor. Get a loan from the world. Be, be wow this bank. Let's try this then. Maybe the Vivaldis would give you a loan. I'd vouch for you. Funny you mention that. I went to see Vivaldi. Oh. Nobody said. Witchers are no good as guarantors. The risk of premature death is oh, way too really? high. <laughs> but I have another idea. What's that? I dated this girl once, oh. Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zaracania. And Daddy Dear would never refuse his daughter Dear a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Sophronia rings a bell. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Okay, where do I come in? Fine, tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. What's your job in all this? Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? <laughs> Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. All right, fine. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. <laughs> It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Okay, we got job to do for oh, them to like borrow a proper sword from Madame Arena. Nothing but yeah. fluffy diddly. We don't know how to give okay. to I need to go to my stash first you got before we go okay. and borrow a sword from Madame Irina. Okay, I need to sell off all this. I think I don't need them. Yeah. Transfer. Ooh. I only have 
88. Oh, not enough space then. Um, I don't feel like keeping this maze. Huh? Oh, gosh, it's full. sell off all these weapons yeah maybe I'll just walk slowly okay I don't need the, all these wait yes it's full let's go out and head to a mushroom what's he schemed up this time Let's talk to Priscilla. I haven't the strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. <laughs> I can see Priscilla is frustrating because of Dandelion. Oh, Must why is the mushroom? Okay, there's a nearby shopkeeper here. Let's go. I hope it's open now because it's so early, 7.50 a.m. Bandits trying to rob this guy. Leave him alone. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm might you be? Temple guard undercover. Try concern citizen. Call me an admirer of law and order. <laughs> Made a mistake coming to this town, then. Eh? You're making the mistake. Leave him alone. Yeah. And if we don't, taste my sword. <laughs> I'll have to convince you. If you don't, I'll have to kick your faces in. Do that, lads. Okay, let's whack all these guys. Gosh. Go home, merchant. Try not to come around here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I mean both, yes. <laughs> Thank I you, will sir. and I won't. <laughs> also, you're the merchant. Hey, I wanna buy something. I mean, I wanna sell something to you. Okay, where is the merchant? Ah, oh, the merchant is gone. Yeah. What? Huh? Can I kill you? No. The mushroom is gone. I thought he is just standing still over here selling his stuffs. Dang. And I need to find another mushroom. Where is another mushroom in this Novigrad? Alright, I see another one here. Okay, let me just go there first. And I'll see you guys in a bit. A few moments later. Oh, Mushan. Hey, I recognize you. You're the one that I saved. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> okay, he isn't talking to me. Like saying thank you for saving his life. <laughs> Alright, show me your ass. What have you got there? Okay, so let's sell this, sell, sell, sell this. I don't need them anymore. Griffin still sold. Okay, this sell. And yes, just sell this. Oh, 
not enough coins? Ah, gosh. Alright, alright. The merchant is poor now. <laughs> Let me sell you this first. Yep. Hunting houses. junk items Guess to sell all this sell later okay he's poor zero crowns ha. I'm so sorry I made you poor farewell so long right I need to go and repair my weapons first Oh, who is this old man? Mm. Okay. Need something sharpened? Reforged? I need you to repair my weapons for me. What do you have on offer? <sighs> Crafting. Repair. Yes, repair. Equip. this for 567 hmm. never mind I'll keep that first All right I don't think I want to dismantle those so long yes so long right again damn mages <laughs> Um, oh yes, borrow a sword from Nether Eren. Let's go. I think it's upstairs. Oh, is it here? These me of doubt, of anguish. Ah, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> Madam Eren, no. huh? where are you? I've worked up quite the appetite. Be gone with you! Everyone hates me so much. I wonder why. Oh, you're here! Hey! Ah, so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well. Did I ask this question from the previous episode? Um, just ask. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes. Though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm hmm no, Dudu I always had a penchant oh, for yeah. enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. <laughs> Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas, he always made for an excellent trusted servant, or ghost of the old king. Okay, I need a prop. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion <laughs> claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Moments later. Meet Dandelion near Sophrona's house after dusk. Oh, let me have 
to the honourable gentlemen. Razors, scissors, knives, ground to sharpness mere moments ago. Need a trim. Think you can manage? Yeah, I wanna shave my beard. Just a shave. Nice. Okay, farewell. So long. Yes, so long. We need to meet Jadila. After dusk. Let's meditate first. After dusk. What time it will be after dusk? 7 pm? Okay, let's wait until nine. Ha! Huh. Finally. Ah, finally made it. Whew. Listen, yeah. here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand. And there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Who knew you'd see the sense in it right away? That's it. That's our plan. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant. <laughs> but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. That kind of look. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here. And your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Alright then. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! <laughs> Tremble. Flaxen-haired wench. Bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. She can recognize me. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Oh, oh what? Ow! Uh, oh. You're better than I thought. Shit. Will he die? I've been hit! Oh, Ow! No. To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? What a show. In front of that lady. Meet Dandelion in the morning. Okay. I guess he is talking to the lady. Now to borrow some coins to him. Okay, so let's go back to Rosemary and Time then. Interesting. <laughs> oh. Ooh. No wonder he says interesting. <laughs>
think I should have just meditate instead of eating my chicken sandwich. Yeah, let's meditate until the morning. Mm. 9 a.m. Right, it's in the morning and still raining too. Just hold out for the And here we are. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theatre deco. <laughs> but that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gerald, you've known him longer. Say something. Oh, I have to choose. Then the light is doing this for you. You decide. Uh, border styles the better fit for cabaret. Cabaret standard of a kind. The decor should be theatrical. Okay, this then. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. Mm. Both our lives have revolved around the stage, and Cabaret's a form of theatre, in a way. Fine, let's do the theatre decor. I certainly hope it'll be to his liking. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. <laughs> I hope Dandelion is back oh well. soon. well, guess this cabaret is the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. You'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. <laughs> Then they're like a rationalist, don't think so. I think so too. Yeah, just agree what True she enough. says. True enough. to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You needn't mock. I'm not. I mean that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. <laughs> it's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Oh, Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Oh, we need to go and find him. Yeah. Oh, wait, let me grab this first. Dandelion is always in a trouble. I always need Garrow's rescue. Okay, it stopped raining here. The Nobby grass. Finally. Hmm. Oh, there he is. The ruckus 
about. Yeah. Polly and her half-brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Yeah. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. <laughs> Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? <laughs> no idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait, do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. Oh, how do you know about this spare key? How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? <laughs> it's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio, you'd visit her often. I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I composed. So, Polly's not one of your. I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. Let's find the key there. Fine. Let's find the key. <sighs> Sam. Not here. Damn it. Now where would she leave? Seven. Not Must here. Be in that pocket. Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! <laughs> Shut up, or I'll split your skull! Okay, peace. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. Yes. So, Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let that delight finish. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. <laughs> For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Hmm. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Okay, done. No fightings required. <laughs> well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. Yeah. You handled it well. It would have been quicker if you left it to me. You handled it well, Dandelion. 
man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. <laughs> in negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlegs. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Oh, who is this? And uh, what's with these placards? Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank oh. Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go get the placards. You head back to the Rosemary. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary. Priscilla will have my head. <laughs> really? <laughs> you go? No, said yeah, that for the hell of it. I'll go. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Alright, let's go to the portside and look for Rotlick. Get the black cuts from him. Okay, let's go. Oh, I saw a new quest here. Let me go talk to these guys. Why not at your waist? New quest. A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Oh, notice? Not no. quite. But what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved Let I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. <laughs> Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. Put your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Okay, I'll help. Plan's crazier than it is sane. There's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. Okay. See you there. Final boat here at Skellige. Right. We have a quest in Skellige. Maybe I should do that after I have passed this main story. Yeah. Um. Black oh. Yeah. Okay, let's continue with this rock leg. Let's find him. Must be in this house. Bandit. Oh, this house is such a mess. I think must be this Looking for job. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcass is picked clean. It's not enough for everyone, so feeding times first come, first served. Can't let you steal from him. I just want some placards. Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. <laughs> Take what you want. You diff. Didn't you hear, mate? This is all mine now. Freak. Okay, then taste my sword. Here, I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. You regret this, mutant. Okay. Ah, no actions. Damn it. Only fees. Damn. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Shit. No. 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 I passed out. Two was 
Texas one. This is so unfair. I don't know how much Rotlick owes you, but everything in this house is mine. Wanna get something back? Try the Vagal Bud estate. Rotlick's losing his last crowns at the races, I wager. Now get the hell out of here. No. Talk to Rotlick in the Vagal's Bud. Damn it, I lost the fight. I thought we can get to repeat the fight again. Oh my gosh. This quest is real tricky. I hope this quest is going to be success. Moments later. Him about the new quest. Wondering if I could take part in the races. If you've coined for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. Uh, okay, tell me later first. I want to do my quest. Well, you You think you shan't back out of my county? Oh, no. You. You Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. There's a group of angry creditors has seized ah. my home. I think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Okay, who's this guy? Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Uh, I just want those black cards. Listen, all I really want are the placards. Tell me where you tucked them away and I'll be out of your hair. Forgive me, I cannot. I hid them with family heirlooms that would work those barbarians lurking outside my home into a slavering froth. Then go fetch them yourself. I'll wait here. If I show my face there without coin, they'll beat me to a pulp. I must win back my debt somehow, else I'll never return home. Um, let me pay your debt. I'll win the race for you. Okay, let's try. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me. Win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You're that good a rider. Far from the worst. <laughs> Go tell the Count you accept his offer. I hope I can do this. I really want to win well, this race. No, no, no. Go. Go. Yes. Oh my gosh. He's running so fast. I mean, he's coming so fast. I hope my horse stamina is going to last for some time, man. Shit. No, 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 no. Oh 
yes, I won. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm as good as dead. Time to flee to safer climbs. Kavir, perhaps. Okay, good idea. Good idea. A lot of people heading that way these days. Halflings among them? Not many. But word is everyone's welcome, regardless of species. Hmm. In Kovir it is. Perhaps my luck will improve there. Farewell, friend. And convey to Master Dandelion my kindest regards and my deepest regrets. Right. Let's go and meet Dandelion. Later. Chameleon! Grand opening tonight! Crown of the evening! A performance by the illustrious duo, Master Dandelion and Priscilla! Take a top of pyre. Uh, all right, so take care of yourself, do do. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. Did I talk to him? Okay, let me try to. Greetings. Would you rather leave? Okay, let's. Ever I'll considered leaving? Place. Forgetting no regret altogether? What for? To pass from the frying pan into the fire? The war's not yet crept here. Bamin's not kicked at our door. Not that the future's looking rosy. But you don't have to be human. Maybe you could try something else. I've assumed many forms over the years, and in spite of all, life as a human has proven most interesting. After all, you humans rule the world. Okay, I guess we didn't ask these questions. Okay, let's ask now. Gotta admit, your manga is a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me. I'm rather disgusted. Come on, he wasn't all out terrible. You understand nothing. A Doppler assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've heard what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break her sorceress's fingers. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone, and immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy. Yeah, it used to be wealthy, what happened? Dudu, tell me. The halfling Bibervelt goes from being a prosperous merchant to being a pauper. How? Prefer the long version or the short? Short, please. The war. I was under the impression merchants grow fat on wars. Some do, but I have a serious personality flaw. I'm honest. I could not reap profits from the suffering of others. I paid taxes. I never cooked my books. And then a ship full of my goods sank. I pulled through somehow, but then a second fell prey to Skelligan raiders, rendering me insolvent. When inflation hit and interest rates rose, I, at long last, fell. Okay, so long. Take care of yourself, do do. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. <laughs> okay, let's start to bend in I Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. Priscilla picked them. Well, I must admit, you have great taste. Of course. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? That's complicated, see. Much more than you assumed. Rotlick's in trouble. Afraid you'll have to do without the placards. Take it, I'm better off not knowing. 
Ugh, this is disastrous. Well, hope the chameleon's popularity won't suffer as a result. It's not the Rosemary and Time anymore. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all that. But it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Okay, what about choreography? What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Okay, when's the grand opening? Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. Oh. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Uh, nah. Why not? That's yeah. my boy. <laughs> Let's celebrate. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He's all right. And she say anything about me? Yeah, she say you're yeah, fat. <laughs> and smell. She praised her rationality. Okay, this. She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible. <laughs> Got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. <laughs> One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Yeah, I wanna know oh, this. Wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. <laughs> four wow. hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? <laughs> Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Of She's course. late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Uh, Takes time. Uh, so it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> oh, it's the dandelion. Priscilla, she's... Uh, what? I hope she's Speak, fine. Man. She's badly hurt. Uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Uh -oh. Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. I hope this is not about me choosing the wrong choice. Oh my gosh, I hope Priscilla is going to be fine. <sighs> God. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition is critical but stable. Oh Beg my your pardon, gosh. but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding oh inside gosh. the throat and esophagus. Clearly, someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no robbery, no ordinary, ordinary attack. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week, a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt. 
I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Putting yourself in danger. Great analogy, but this tumor is not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up. Especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Okay, can I get into the morgue? Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The uh, sewers? Sewers. Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. Mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You lead. Okay, I guess I'll lead. Oh, so this is the place. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I tried to get the temple guard to enter the sewers, alas, to no avail. So I took matters into my own hands. At no charge. You damned idealists, ruining the market for us. Okay guys, I am going to stay here for today and it's really sad to see Priscilla in that... in that state. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect her to be end up that way, man. She got one eye blinded, I guess. Oh my gosh. And I wonder who is the guy who did that so badly to her. And I hope we are going to find out on the next episode. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed for today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave your comments down below. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!